Hey, Steve Bignani here with a little bit of Hemi trivia. Now, we all know the 426 Hemi is a pretty heavy engine, like 720 pounds, and that's despite the fact that each cylinder head, even in iron at 58 pounds, is 10 pounds less than a big block Chevy. Bet you didn't know that. But the downside is the rest of the Hemi with its deep skirt block is mighty heavy. So over the years, you know, what you want to do is, if you can, put the Hemi in the middle of the vehicle, like the little red wagon, to get away from the nose-heavy uh, behavior of a front-engine type vehicle. Boy, if they only could do that with a, a Ferrari or a mid-engine car, well, check it out. They did. Who is they? Well, Peter Monteverdi, a Swiss industrialist in 1971 through 73, built something called the Monteverdi High. Now, what is high? Well, H-A-I is German for shark. And here's a nice story from Road Test Magazine, August 71, on one of two 426 Hemi-powered Monteverdi Highs. And here it is right here in flesh. Now, when I discovered this magazine, it was about 1979. I was oh, 14 or 15 years old. And I was blown away at the idea that somebody put a 426 Hemi in the middle of a Ferrari-like sports car. I couldn't believe it. Well, sure enough, they made two of these things with Hemis. One of them still exists. Google it. And a couple, two, three, four, forty 440 Magnum-powered cars. But then something struck me. When I was a kid, I had a matchbox car called the Monteverdi High. And when I had this when I was probably oh, five or six years old in the early 70s, I had no idea what a Hemi was or what this was. Well, sure enough, this is a model of the mighty Monteverdi High, complete with opening doors. And uh, surprisingly, underneath, it does say Monteverdi High. It doesn't have any details, like maybe the engine in the back or transaxle, none of that stuff. So little did I know, as a five-year-old kid, I was actually playing with models of a mid-engine Hemi supercar. Now, you don't want to confuse the Monteverdi High with another Anglo-European uh, creation, the Jensen Interceptor right here. This is an example by Corgi, I think. And of course, the Jensen Interceptor came along in 1968 or 67, I think it was, ran through 1978. And these were British-built vehicles with 440 Magnums under the hood. Now, keep in mind, 1972 and 3, there was something called the Jensen Interceptor SP. SP stood for six-pack. Yes, in 72 and 3, while the 446 pack was gone from America, they actually installed maybe 80 or 90 into Jensen Interceptors in Europe. Now, the Interceptor was known for its massive glass backlight right there. Pretty cool piece. And, of course, another... Um, exotic Hot Wheels matchbox type vehicle that's often confused with the Jensen Interceptor and the Monteverdi High is this here. This is the Charger 3, which is actually Matchbox's rendition of an actual Dodge show car from about 1968, I think it was. And the word is that the actual Charger 3 didn't really run. It was a fiberglass mock-up, but there were press in, in materials that said it had a Hemi in it and stuff like that, but not so much. But that's the story of the Monteverdi High. It really was a Ferrari fighting mid-engine Hemi supercar. If you like this, be sure to subscribe to the Steve Mags YouTube channel and tell your friends about it. Share it. There's a lot more to come.